Michelle Castro. And we are standing outside the Church of St. Vitus because in three days, Catholic schools around the nation will be celebrating their faith and devotion to God during Catholic Schools Week. This week allows Catholic schools around the nation to connect themselves closer with God and remember His role in our lives. Please stand for the prayer and the pledge. Let's remember that we are in God's holy presence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, you allow me to continually learn every day in my life, no matter the subject. You bless me with the opportunity to go to a great school where we celebrate your grace. You give me a heart that can love, a family that supports, friends that encourage, and so much more. Please help me to always be thankful for the opportunity to go to a Catholic school where I can share and value my faith. Amen. Glory be to God in all things. In, in the name, name of the, the Father, Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready for the best day ever, Bishop Gorman? Because BGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. Bishop Gorman. I'm Kelton Sorensen. And I'm Vincent Agretto. And, and this, this is, is BGTV. BGTV. It's Friday, January 23rd. And on this day in 1789, the first Catholic school in the United States, Georgetown University, was founded in Maryland. This Catholic school was founded on Maryland also, Maryland Parkway that is. And right here in our own valley, all of us are looking forward to one special week. With Catholic Schools Week starting this Monday, Jenna Sason went around town to see how two Catholic middle schools are preparing for this special occasion. Though January is coming to a close, the party is just about to start. Catholic schools across the country anticipate the upcoming Catholic Schools Week. Across the Vegas Valley, Catholic grade schools such as St. Vider and St. Elizabeth are preparing for the festivities. Thursday they play the faculty in volleyball, which is a big competition, I think more so for the faculty than it is the kids. But that's a big spirit building thing. All, the whole school is there. It's, it's all community building stuff. We dedicate um, each day to the people who make up the parish. Like one day is dedicated to the parents, the next day is dedicated to our community, and then the next day is dedicated to our students. Catholic Schools Week for us has a balance of our faith, it has a balance of our recreation, and it has a balance of our service as an outward expression of who we are. We have themed dress days and we're going to have a lot of fun and teach all the kids how awesome our school is and how much we should respect our Catholic uh, religion. These events highlight this year's theme of community, faith, knowledge, and service, the core values of a Catholic institution. This yearly commemoration celebrates Catholic education in the United States. Since 1974, this celebration highlighted the importance of these unique schools, where students are given the freedom to pray and discuss religion. Catholic institutions also encourage its students and faculty to exercise the Catholic faith and its values as an integral part of life. I think we need to celebrate Catholic Schools Week and a Catholic education because it really is a gift. We have the opportunity to celebrate Jesus every day and make that a part of our faith-filled lives in addition to an excellent education. We are I'm Jana Sason reporting for BGTV. During the class retreats last year, you may remember a missionary named Gabby who spoke about giving back especially to people we don't know. He challenged Bishop Gorman to raise money to provide fresh drinking water to a small village in Africa where fresh water is unavailable. We recently received this update from Gabby that shows how you, Bishop Gorman, help those in need. 
Hi, my dear friends at Bishop Gorman High School. It's Gabby, your missionary. I'm here in South Africa in the village of Donkerok. I'm coming all the way from America to give you a small gift from Bishop Gorman High School in the area to give you water. Here we are today, October 3rd, 2014, on our big day to install the pump that will provide water to seven communities in South Africa here in the Eastern Cape. We've got Jalmakas, we've got Kwalamzamo, we've got Ferganu, we've got Donkaruk, we've got uh, Sevendalan, um, those areas that, and Faldam as well, which is going to benefit from this water that we are going to give them. Okay, my friends at Bishop Gorman, we're going to turn on the switch of this new electrical panel. And this electrical panel is going to provide electricity to the pump so it can shoot water out. Here we go. While people in Africa are pumping out fresh water, I'm going to pump out these announcements. Let's kick off Catholic Schools Week on Monday with an all-school mass. Don't forget to wear your dress uniform. If you're interested in making a charm bracelet, there will be a jewelry club meeting this Wednesday. This will be a great Valentine's Day gift for all my men out there. From fashion to Black Friday sales and now to Hollywood, Alexa Bel Castro has it all. Today she joins us on set with the latest edition of What's Hot. Alexa? Thanks, Vincent. Hey, Bishop Gorman, it's Alexa Bel Castro talking about what's hot. And nothing is hotter at the box office right now than American Sniper. In less than a week, it has already made more than $128 million. Directed by Clint Eastwood, it tells the true story of Chris Kyle. Kyle was a Navy SEAL who did four tours of duty in Iraq. American Sniper shows the transition from Kyle's life as a warrior to his life as a husband and father. Some Hollywood celebrities, such as Michael Moore and Seth Rogen, have criticized the movie and Kyle himself, going as far as calling snipers cowards. In my opinion, you shouldn't criticize military unless you have served our country in the armed forces. I believe it is a powerful and strong movie. If you have the chance, you should go and see it. I'm Alexa Bell Castro, and that's what's hot, Bishop Gorman. Wow. Bishop Gorman is having their very first movie night ever. Be sure to join us in the ATC on February 6th for some fun. And Sarah Brodsky is back on sports with a look at the Big Hoops game tomorrow. Sarah? <laughs> Thanks, Vincent. In sports this week, the biggest story in town is Saturday afternoon's Clash of the Titan. Your Bishop Gorman Gales versus the Finley Prep Pilots. So big, it's got to be held at South Point Hotel and Casino. I caught up with Coach Rice and a couple of players yesterday to talk about the big game. Finley Prep is a big game for us every year. Um, we had a, a big win last year against them, and so we're trying to keep that momentum uh, going for this year. We're excited. You know, we beat them last year, so um, this is a good opportunity to bounce back from the losses and, you know, just go out there and prove ourselves. I believe in us, I believe in our team, and I believe that we can do it. G Block, it's an orange out. Come dressed and prepared. The men's basketball team dominated Shadow Ridge on Wednesday, beating them with a score of 73 39. The women won 72 34. Tonight, the men's and women's basketball team will be playing at Durango. Also, congratulations to the women's bowling team who crushed Paolo this week. Last weekend was the preseason showcase for the men's baseball team being held at the University of San Diego. They won all three games against De La Salle, Huntington Beach, and Modern Day. And now, for the NFL, if you've been following the latest scandal this week, let's hope the Patriots come better prepared for the Super Bowl. I'm Sarah Brodsky. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Sarah. That's all we have for this week, Bishop Gorman. I hope you have a safe weekend. I'm Kelton Sorensen. And I can't wait for Catholic Schools Week. And this, this is BGTV. BGTV.